Doc. Tell the good doc what's wrong with you. Spend your caps, and I'll make it all better. Are you really a doctor? Am I a doctor? Let me show you my degree from the school of saving wise asses like you. I'm a positive institution in these parts, so you need help or what? Are you really a doctor? You want news? Want me to rub your feet at the same time? I only got time for one thing, making caps. Oh, and, uh, you know, helping people. Are you really a doctor? You want news? Want me to rub your feet at the same time? Whatever. Gonna pass. Fine.
were supposed to file a police report, yes? And all the little things go in baggies for evidence.
Hey. Do you need something from me? Tell me you must have time now. I can think of better things to get excited about. Oh, that's so... No, I will not let you derail me. I beg to become a sins for a reason. For science. To be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute food, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth-shaking, but it means that inspiration does exist. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions. Experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me, my close friend. And I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement was, I must tell you, it wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. You know, you mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. It's okay. You mean a lot to me too. I dared not hope. When we are apart, I guess and second guess. I should be only thinking about this achievement. Instead, my thoughts, they linger on you. I love you, Kiri. And I love you. The world seems so very bright, and I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. Atomics Galleria. Remember, you must be our new supervisor. Force against customers is strictly prohibited. Yeah, and I'm the governor of Massachusetts, too. Professional Governor Graham? Why, sir, it is an honor. I must say, that explains the delay. I'm sure you're quite a busy man. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to your new assignment. Once you've had a chance to get settled in, you should report to the director. His office is located in the statue in the center of the plaza. The Galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. Who's the director? General Atomics Patented Director Management System, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously, without the need for human intervention. What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow today. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. That's all. Very well. Enjoy your visit. Standard operating procedures must be authorized by the director. The Mr. Handy Life really is quite magnificent, don't you think? Tough enough to take on the 
Defenses. Continue the activities is not a bad. Hold it right there. I've been monitoring your approach. Impressive. Very impressive. For a low life criminal! Later, I will reduce these blocks for relevant data. You've been watching me? Did you honestly think a state-of-the-art facility like the General Atomics Galleria wouldn't have proper surveillance equipment? And yet, despite all of my sensors, all of my robots, I still don't know why you're really here! Just what are you up to? Who are you working for? I want answers! Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening Supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes? Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. Wait, manual activation? Is there any other kind? Automatic activation was scheduled for January 1st, 2078. Wait. Analyzing. Corrupt task detected. Task scheduler repaired. Now executing previously scheduled task. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. Done. Designating new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business! As the Grand Reopening Supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's Customer Appreciation Raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismissed! I'm busy, soldier. Dismissed! Something interesting. All right, maggots, listen up! I want your stores cleaned yesterday! Move it! Move it!
busy, busy, busy. Welcome to Handy Eats. Feel free to seat yourself. I'll be right over. Oh, how wonderful. I get you. Welcome to Fallon's. Let me know if you need anything. Just browsing. Of course, of course. Welcome to Penelli's Bakery. My name is Crisp. I take your order. Having a bad day? You too can enjoy the benefits of personality subroutine 37. Existential despair when you buy your own General Atomics robot. Pick one up today. Now, did you want anything? Not right now. Whatever. Chorus.
Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. That means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Don't fall off! If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! Eyes peeled, everyone! No time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Go first. Oh, God. Defend yourselves. Ready all. Fire at will. What? We may Just run. It's over. No. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this.
You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk, worship the power of Adam, which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. I will do everything in my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn. Willful and other, less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Alan. Huh. The Mainlander. Great. You helped us on Mariner's Hull, but we didn't need it. This is our island. Our fight. Not yours. Don't you want a helping hand? Hell no. Once you start leaning on people, soon you can't walk no good on your own. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? Or the next? Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. 
But there's one exception. That is, if you meant what you said to Avery about the children of Adam. Anyone willing to put those bastards down? I'll sell my top shelf ordinance too with a smile. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever. Hi. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? I might be looking for something. Take your time. No rush. got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family. The Daltons was the pride of Far Harbor for generations, even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah! But now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong. Someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey.
Excuse me. Well, the children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all, and I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Yeah! Woo! Time to party. Here's some Mitch. Mitch! Mainlander? Today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya! Ha <laughs> ha! You give away free drinks often? A fully stocked bar ain't no use to a corpse, is it? Ha! <laughs> What's the catch? Not a catch to be found. A full bar ain't no use to a corpse. So, drink up! You stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mine goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Not interested. Pity. Either Mitch or I can take your order. Hi. What's your order, sweetie? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an Islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. Maybe. Well, take a load off until you decide. your gut against the fog with whiskey ha <laughs> ha food 
stim packs fully stocked. I'll be damned if I give up on taking back my land. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. The mainlanders are the source of all our problems. Every single one of them. The hole needs mending. You know, it just don't build itself. I need proper wood, steel, nails, the like. Nobody asked you to cobble together that stupid wall. You want yourself commodities, you know how to get them. Caps. That stupid wall is the only thing that kept you stowaways alive. In front? That. And back. the mainlander. The mainlander? Huh. <laughs> what kept us safe was harbormen and the firepower I sold them. Want supplies? Tell you what. Apply that big old brain of yours to dealing with the real threat. Those children of Adam whack jobs. Haven't you fouled up things enough, Alan? And now you mean to make it worse? They're still alive, aren't they? Figure I got a whole lot more work to do. No deal. But this isn't the yeah. last of them. They sure the hell looks like it to me. The hull took a battering, to be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools, specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper, make it strong, and keep those blasted crabs out for good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Sandra. The children of Adam are trying to kill us all. Drive us into the ocean. I hope the harbor's being good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. You need work? Talk with the Mariner. Lord knows she's always carrying on about something. What's the history of this place? Well, this whole dock used to belong to the Mariner when the fog started getting thicker. Family by family, homestead by homestead, people were kicked out of their homes inland. The Mariner was kind enough to let people stay. The harbor just kind of grew out of that charity. What's there to do in town? Brooks sells general goods. Teddy writes in back of his shop, and he can patch you up if you need it. Besides that, the last plank's a popular stop for booze and what have you. And lastly, well, if you need a gun, see Alan Lee. You know of anyone that could use some help? I hope the harbor's being good to you. I have to go. Be well. Need to drown your troubles. Talk to Mitch at the last plank. Do you have any super mutants on the mainland? We got some by Alderson. 